I'm Sarah Lennon and I'm at 109 Lambeth Road, which is one of the headquarters of the Metropolitan Police in London. And along with two other people, I've just come out of a meeting with Commander Aaron Finley's Gold Command of the Met Police. We discussed a number of issues uh, with her. We talked about public order and the fact that as Just Stop Oil, we wanted to protect public order because we recognise extreme weather events and the unfolding breakdown of, of our climate is going to impact on public order. And along with the Met Police, we want to see public order protected. But right now, public order is allowing the continuation of fossil fuel and fo fossil fuel emissions. And the Met Police need to make that point to government. Um, so that's the second point. We asked the Metropolitan Police to write to the government to explain why the climate crisis, the breakdown of the climate crisis, is a public order issue and why the government need to, need to act on it. Whether this happens or not we, remains to be seen, but the, uh, the commander did agree to raise it with the MEC commissioner writing the letter. And then finally we talked about the Metropolitan Police doing their job and investigating those responsible for gen genocide, genocide with oblique intent, under the International Criminal Court Act of 2001, that the police need to investigate those people who are committing genocide. New fossil fuel, more carbon emissions are an act of genocide. They know it is going to lead to the breakdown of climate and to the deaths of millions and millions of people. Karen Finley's agreed to investigate that and to, to understand what can be done under the Genocide Act. And finally, we made the point to the police that Just Stop Oil is a non-violent movement and will remain a non-violent movement. What the police have asked of us is that we let them know of our plans in the future, what we are going to do, what we would like to do, and that we negotiate with them as other protest groups do. We don't see ourselves as a protest group. We see ourselves as being in resistance to a harmful government. However, that is the ask that the police have made of us. So, what will happen? Will the letter get written? Will genocide and the people responsible for it be investigated? And will we liaise with the police? Let's see.